Welcome to a new segment, show, video thing I'm trying out called The Complimentary, where I talk about a cool thing that I think is kind of impressive in its own way. Back in the mid-80s, there was a toy company called Kenner, and they had a problem. They had the Star Wars toy license. That may not sound like a problem, but this was the 1980s, the mid-1980s, and all, all three Star Wars movies were done. Lucasfilm wasn't going to make any more Star Wars movies. And Kenner had been making a lot of its money, like paying a lot of its salaries, through that Star Wars license. And they were going to face a really tough time if they couldn't keep that going. So they approached Lucasfilm and said, could we... Um, continue the Star Wars story ourselves? And Lucasfilm said, come in, we'll give you a meeting, and we'll see. So Kenner, a toy company, again, developed their own storyline for where Star Wars was going to go post Return of the Jedi based on no knowledge from George Lucas. Uh, they went back and they watched the films and they had their own story for, about the Clone Wars and about all sorts of characters, and they developed this whole thing. Get this. Their idea was, okay, you have this whole Clone Wars, right? What was that? And they said, what if the Clone Wars was, was fighting against this massive alien army of clones, like the Borg, suddenly swept into the Star Wars universe? Not like the, not like the Borg specifically, but, you know, a force like the Borg. And there was just this, this unstoppable army of clones. Maybe that's where the Empire came from. Maybe all that military buildup that, fought, that spawned the Empire was there to defeat the clone army. And so, But what if now that Palpatine's dead and the Empire is crumbling, now there's nothing to stop the Clone War army from coming back? They were defeated but not destroyed. So they imagined, what if you have this three-way war between the struggling but growing New Republic, the shattered remains of the Empire using scavenged Imperial technology, like imagine an AT-AT walker with the back ripped off and a gun put on it, and all that kind of almost Mad Max style scavenged technology by the remnants of the Empire, and then this weird alien race that's sweeping through the galaxy. That's pretty darn cool. And their idea was that they would come out with toys, and there was not they were they were they were hoping that there could be like an animated series and along those lines. But there they really were were planning primarily to just come out with toys that said, here's this stuff that's going on. You imagine. You tell your own stories. You know, we're not gonna try to create a a definitive canon that all your stories are based off of. We might tell a story in that universe. We may kind of push things in a certain direction. But we want these to be units of play, primarily, where the kids are telling their own story in this new Star Wars universe. And I think for more or less random people from Kenner to come up with that whole concept, and there was a lot more to it, by the way, and then pitch that to Lucasfilm, I think it's pretty darn cool. Unfortunately, Lucasfilm said, we're just not really interested in, in pursuing Star Wars anymore at this point. Thanks, but no thanks. And decided not to move forward with it. But imagine we could have had a very interesting, different timeline for Star Wars with its own universe, its own settings, its own vehicles. That's pretty cool.